Okay, this is going to be installing an external antenna on the LilyGo T-Deck Plus. The one that I have here is the 915 megahertz United States. I'm super happy with these, but I also want to extend my range a little bit. So we're going to open up this port here at the top, and that is going to allow us to connect an external antenna. I have two different uh, antennas here today. Both of these are off of Amazon. Links are included in the description below. So let's take a look at this one first. This antenna is probably going to be comically long for this device, um, but I don't really care. We'll see how it looks and then how I feel. If this one's too long, I did get some shorter ones also. So here we go. Let's get started. I'm going to first turn these off. These are on, so I'm going to turn them off here. Um, and then we have to start by opening up this, uh, this box here with a small Phillips head screwdriver. Lefty Lucy, and we're just gonna twist it open. You don't wanna strip it, so make sure you're applying adequate pressure so that you don't strip it. There we go. Okay, we have the sticker that we have to remove here. So now this screen can come further out. Okay, there we go. And we have to make sure that this board in here is going with the screen. Okay, I'm just going to carefully wiggle that over. All right, I'm just wiggling this off. All right, here's our battery. Our battery goes to the power. Here's our charging port. This right here is our antenna. This battery just comes out. Okay, so here, when we have this open, this is our GPS. Okay, so this one here, this little SMA connector is hooked up to our GPS unit. This is our uh, radio antenna, okay? So this is the one that we're replacing today. And it's just connected here on this board here. So we're just going to unplug this here with our tweezers carefully. You want to be careful not to damage anything here. Be gentle with everything. Okay, so now that we have that opened, we can separate these two pieces because we have to do a little bit of work on this plastic case here. We are going to open up this bigger hole and let's see how we do here. We're just going to go for it with the X-Acto knife. So I'm just going to cut away from myself and obviously be very careful doing this. You don't want to hurt yourself. I'm just going to wiggle it around a little bit until I get closer and closer. And then we're going to clean these holes up. All right, and I'm through that one also. Okay, so that's two down, two to go. that one one left and it's out now you're left with these like excess pieces so we're just gonna clean this up a little bit it's an old hammer punch that I have and I'm not putting a lot of pressure because I don't want to damage obviously my 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 case here but I'm just twisting it and it's just cleaning it up a little bit. First, we're gonna go ahead and try the larger antenna. So that would be this one here. Okay, I paid $10 for two. Right now it's got a 4.4, 120 on Amazon. So we're gonna remove this connector here. So we can see it. That's our little SMA connector, which is the same as the one that came with our device. And this is gonna have a lot more range. Okay, and here's the coax that goes into this here. Okay, so let's get to work on this. First of all, uh, anything metallic here, we wanna cover up with some tape. So we're just gonna tuck this down here.
But for this to work, this is gonna have to be able to fit through here. So hopefully this fits. If not, we're gonna have to make it a little bit bigger. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave the one washer underneath. Okay, so we'll put it in there through here. There we go. We'll put the teeth facing up here on this washer so that when it hits the plastic, it's gonna dig into it. Look at that, perfect fit. Uh, this is gonna be something, you have to make sure that this is like facing up. You don't want this cable to be all twisted out of, out of shape, right? Because remember, when we connect this back to this board, we're gonna be connecting it to there, okay? So actually, see here. It should be on this side, something like that. Okay, so something like that is accept acceptable. Okay, you want it to be facing up. You don't want it to just be tangled up and out of the way and everything like that, okay? So next we'll go our lock washer and then we will put on our nut. Okay, we're just gonna hand tighten all of this for now. And really you don't wanna over tighten any of this. Like this is, not very thick plastic you don't want to break your device because you want it to put an antenna on it right let's see how comically large this antenna will be i'm not sure if i'm going to stick with this or not make sure your sma is facing up and it's not twisted okay so it's going to go something like this you see Okay, it's mostly on there. I'm just gonna kind of, there we go. It's clicked in now. So I just helped myself out a little bit with my tools. Yeah, those are kind of a pain. You have to be careful. You don't want to damage anything, obviously. So just be cautious when you're doing that. And now we can start slowly putting this back together. We have our battery in place. Okay, we just gotta make sure that everything here kind of lines up. We want this board here on this and then this GPS unit should be somewhere here in the top section uh, which you can see here you have to make sure that USB drops in through that USB port the C to the C okay I'm not clipping any wires or anything like that we have to make sure that these line up here and don't forget about your button it has to go back okay this here we have to go slowly I just kind of held it on top of there. It fits in the top slot there. Okay, we're getting closer and closer here, you see? I'd like to turn this off. There we go. So that nothing... Okay, okay. There we go, things are doing things now. Okay, we're kind of just sliding this all back together a little bit. Now we can put our screws back in place. Just take your screwdriver. Hopefully yours is magnetic like mine. It shouldn't be too too far apart. If it's too far apart, you might have a component that just needs to be repositioned. Okay, this is fine here. So I'm gonna slide that in there, and we're gonna tighten this up here. I'm gonna put our screw in there. Now our device is back together. Now we can install our antenna, which is probably comically large, but maybe not. Maybe this is what we're looking for. Our antenna's on. We can turn our device on. All right, enter, let's take a look. Yeah, so it still works, so the antenna works. So we know that it's functional. We got the device here. And yeah, you can see it's it's pretty big, right? So let's do another install. We'll do an install with just uh, with just a little little antenna, okay? Because this one, this is pretty pretty long. I would like to range test both of them, right? So maybe uh, do a range test with both installed and see how it goes. 
Um, but either way, whichever ones end up on those will end up on these. Uh, these are some devices that I bought a while ago that have mesh tastic. These require a cell phone or tablet or any kind of device running mesh tastic app. Um, so this is not a good option if you just want to be out and about and have a standalone device like this. This requires you to have your cell phone with you and to use Bluetooth and to power your cell phone and this does not have a battery in it. This is a far superior device but this might be good for like a station or like a node or something like that. Um, so eventually we can hook up an even bigger antenna to this, okay, and get this somewhere on the roof. Uh, so that we get a better distance and this is gonna go up through the bottom here And it's just gonna slide right in look at that beautiful This piece like I said on the other one this piece must face up Before you tighten anything So make sure Really I would prefer to go this way. There we go. This wire you don't want to twist the wire if you twist the wire you're gonna have problems there you go. So you have this. Our goal is to end up like this. So I'm just going to twist it a little bit more. Okay. Twist it a little bit more. And there we go. That's kind of a, our best case scenario like that. Okay. So we have that. And we're just going to tighten it up here. Not too tight, obviously. This is plastic. You don't want to be over, this is not some kind of metal case. So I always start these with a finger, but they're much better to finish with a nice flat. There you go, nice click. When you hear the click, you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and put the battery in here. Be very careful, you don't want to stretch any of these cables out of here. And our buttons, are these little guys here. We have one for reset and one for on and off. So our on and off switch is here. There we go. Okay. So finally, we'll just do our quick little demo here. Demo. And we have demo. All right, this has been a quick video on how to install an external antenna on the LilyGo T-Deck Plus. Uh, I am gonna be doing range test videos coming up soon. Uh, so if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Um, and leave me a comment. What would you like to see next? Thanks for watching and good luck